1D Kinematics Study Guide Review, Question 4. You throw a rock straight downward off of a cliff overlooking the ocean with an initial velocity of 2.9 meters per second. It takes the rock 10.2 seconds to hit the water below. How high is the cliff? The first number I'm given is an initial velocity. It is downward. Do not forget the negative sign. I know a time until it hits the water. I also have uh, a hidden given in here. The acceleration of gravity. Was hidden from me when I initially read the problem. The unknown, how high is the cliff? You may safely assume that this is a free fall problem, mostly because we don't know how to do anything but free fall problems. It might be tempting here to try to say that the final velocity of the rock is zero, but that would actually be incorrect. Um, I've seen a few students make this mistake. This is wrong. Don't do it. That would imply that the rock is slowing down before it strikes the water. That's not true at all. The rock strikes the water at a huge velocity. Okay, an equation. The I, T, A, G, delta Y. The only thing we know nothing about in this problem is that final velocity. Let's pick a vertical relationship here. No good, it's got a VF in it. No good, it's got a VF in it. Let's keep going. Again, no good, it's got a VF in it. Last qu equation, delta Y, VIT plus one-half AT squared. Being asked for delta Y, so the equation's already solved for the unknown. Let me move my own mug out of the corner here so you can actually see the rest of that writing. Okay, this will give you a delta y. Beware here, it's going to be a negative number. Because that means it fell down. If I ask you how high is the cliff, am I looking for how far measured from top to bottom, a negative number, how far something falls? Now, the height of the cliff is going to be positive. Remember, we decided that negative was the downward direction. How high is the cliff? We want to know it's positive height. We wouldn't say it's negative 5 meters tall. So you want to take your answer here and be smart about it and provide me the absolute value of that number, the positive version.